What's up guys, IDevice Help here and today Apple just wrapped up WWDC and of course they introduced the first version of iOS 9, iOS 9 Beta 1. Now in this video I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on some of the new features so I couldn't possibly cover all the new features in one video. I'm just going to film separate videos so you guys can watch the ones that interest you the most. So in this video I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on some of the new applications and enhancements to the UI that Apple implemented with this first beta of iOS 9. So let's begin. Now the first thing you might notice is the Passbook application has been renamed Wallet. Now you can add the new reward system that Apple has implemented with iOS 9 where you can add credit cards and also rewards cards like Walgreens rewards cards for points and things like that. So Apple has renamed it to Wallet because it's now more of a wallet than just a paying solution for iOS. Now. Jumping quickly to the next application is iCloud Drive. Now iCloud Drive is an option if you want to install it. The iOS operating system will ask you a minute or two after installing it if you want to install this app. And basically you can just manage all your iCloud files from this single application. Very useful, very simple. Another thing to notice in iOS 9, now we have the Find My iPhone application is now available here uh, as a default application. You can't really remove it from iOS. So as you can see there, it's one of the native applications. So Find My iPhone is now one of the natives in iOS 9 as well. Now also a much welcome addition for iOS 9 is the Spotlight application where you can search Spotlight by swiping to the left. If you remember iOS 6, you can swipe to the left to get access to the Spotlight. That is the same deal here with iOS 9 Beta 1 and you also get some applications and other context information that you might want to launch as well from this particular section. I think Apple did a good job by moving it here. Uh, you still have access to it by swiping down on the screen like you used to before but it's less intrusive. Now you have the option to just simply swipe to the left and you get more in information, news, uh, applications that you might want to launch, recent applications that you launched, and also contact information where you can go ahead and call someone. And also you got the uh, volume here or the microphone there for Sirius. You can see the dictation UI for Sirius also different here uh, for the new iOS 9. That is Spotlight in iOS 9. Now the application Maps also has a new welcome addition. It is the uh, transit directions for the public transit. You can go ahead and look up public transit depending on your location. You can tap here on the I and it will give you different options now as you can see there. It says transit, satellite, or maps. So that's also a welcome addition. Not available on all states as of yet, but a very useful feature especially for big cities like New York City and San Francisco. Now quickly wanted to mention that in settings you now have a search tab where you can search through settings to find particular sections. If you feel a little lost there in settings, you can search a particular section and get to your settings a lot faster. Now also you go into generals and you'll find the CarPlay wireless option which I'm going to be using and hopefully make a video to demonstrate to you guys how to use it. So that option was enabled uh, back in iOS 8.3 I believe beta and it was removed. Now it's back in iOS 9 beta as well. Now there's also a few applications that Apple talked about in the keynote for iOS 9 that are currently not present on the first beta. As you can see there, the Apple Music is not available as of yet. The new music streaming service is set to release sometime at the end of June alongside with iOS 8.4. And also the news application where you can read local news and also international news from all across the world. It's a separate application that's also not available in the first beta as of yet, or at least it's not available on my device itself. Now Apple also made a very big drastic change to the multitasker. I don't know if I like it as of yet. I think it's really cool in a way, but I would prefer the old multitasker. Maybe I'll just get used to it in the long run. But they had changed the multitasker. As you can see, there's cards that you can swipe through. I'll see how long it takes for me to get used to this one. But it is running smooth. It is beta 1 and it is running smooth. So that's a good sign for the new multitasker in iOS 9. Now Siri also got a brand new look as you can see there the UI and now looks more like the Apple Watch UI with a bunch of colors and Siri also got smarter with third party background support and other enhancements that I will be covering in the future but I think the UI looks a lot cooler this way so Apple is heading in the right direction with Siri as well. Now the notes application also got a very welcome update where you can add pictures to your notes very convenient from your camera roll or take an image itself you can add a notes of course and now you have new tools where you can go ahead and create notes by tapping on one of the elements and start drawing you can even change the colors of the pencil there as you can see you can undo you can choose other tools from here like a ruler they have an eraser as well so nice welcome addition here to the notes application now I also want to note that when I first restored the iPhone to iOS 9 and went through the setup process it gave me 
custom versions of passcode locks that I can implement in the lock screen instead of the regular four digit passcode. As you can see there, it gives me a custom uh, numeric code or a four digit uh, code as you're used to or a custom alpha numeric code. So that's a welcome addition and increase on security for iOS 9 as well. Now inside the settings app, Apple added a new feature called a battery. Now this is a very welcome addition for iOS 9. As you can see there, low battery mode basically allows you to uh, reduce the performance of the networks and then the mail application will only work when you enter the application. All backgrounds refresh will stop. Motion and effects and animations will be disabled along with a de-animated wallpaper. As you can see there, the battery turns yellow when you turn that toggle on. This is the battery low power saving mode. So a very welcome addition there by Apple adding this to iOS 9. Also in the settings application, if you go to the generals tab and scroll down, now you have a new option for the mute switch on the side of your device where you can set to lock rotation or mute your device. So whichever one you select, that is what that button will do for you now. So that's a brand new option there under the generals tab in the settings application. Also get a new wallpaper for iOS 9 and it's only one new wallpaper as of right now as you can see there is the new iOS 9 wallpaper. Once I have it available I'll bring it to you guys. You can go ahead and download it on my blog. The link will be down below. But not that it's very important but the wallpaper is only just one for iOS 9. Now another cool feature that Apple introduced with iOS 9 that I can't really demo on this video is the split screen multitasking on the iPad. Now I don't see this feature working on the iPhone 6 Plus as of yet. I've updated my iPhone but it doesn't seem to be working. But it is available for the iPad, the split screen multitasking where you can watch a video on one side and also multitask on the other side doing emails or whatever you wish. And when you close an application, if you're playing a video, the video will stay playing in the background. I'll demo that for you guys in future videos, but it's really cool and it's now available finally in iOS 9. Now a very awesome tweak that Apple added to the actual keyboard is with two fingers, if you tap and hold, you can now move it like a cursor to select a uh, certain text and then get hit copy or paste or you can also just swipe around and use it as a trackpad just like you would with the Mac. Now this supports all devices as well in iOS 9. Alright guys so there you have it. Those are some of the new features available with iOS 9 and some of the UI uh, changes that came with the, the new operating system. Now the first beta of iOS 9 is available right now and if you'd like to try it if you're not a developer I'll leave a link down below where you can get this without having to be a developer. Now Apple did talk about a beta public testing program but that has yet to be released they were talking about releasing that at the end of July but if you want to test iOS 9 now link will be down below again if you're not a developer so you can get access to it right now if you wish to do so the final version of iOS 9 will launch this fall most likely with the brand new iPhones coming up so make sure you stay tuned much more videos coming your way more in-depth review of iOS 9 and each individual feature of course this is the beta one so not everything works perfectly just yet so make sure you stay tuned here to the channel for all those videos don't forget to click a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video follow us on facebook twitter and google plus for updates link will also be down below it's been a device and i will catch you guys really soon peace